After nearly 40 years of marriage, Ed and Midge Rendell told friends Monday that they will be living separate lives. Dear friends, we wanted to let you know that we've decided to embark upon this next phase of our lives by living separately, the email said. This has been a difficult decision, but we both believe it is the right thing to do. Our parting is amicable, and we will remain friends and continue to be active in our community, sometimes together, sometimes separately. The couple asked for their friends to respect our privacy and our decision and wish us well. The email was signed Ed and Midge with this postscript. Please do not hesitate to include both of us in social occasions as we will not find it awkward or uncomfortable. The split was first reported Monday afternoon by Daily News reporter Chris Brennan on the Philly Clout blog he authors with Daily News reporter Catherine Lucy. A source familiar with details of the separation says the couple are not planning to divorce. Midge, 64, who's a Third Circuit Court of Appeals judge, is expected to remain in the couple's East Falls home while the former governor, 67, lives elsewhere. The couple, who married in 1971, has one son, Jesse, an attorney in Philadelphia. They plan to share custody of their two golden retrievers, Ginger and Maggie. Although the email did not cite a reason for the split, Rendell has long been the subject of speculation including younger women, typically leggy blondes. He most recently turned heads in May when he arrived on election day lunch at the famous 4th Street Deli with Kirsten Snow, a state employee and former Miss Pennsylvania. A source said Snow, no longer with the state, remains in Harrisburg but is helping the former governor with several projects. Rendell signed a deal several weeks ago to serve as an NBC News political analyst. Snow declined to comment on Monday about the Rendell split. A Daily News story about Rendell and Snow prompted Philadelphia Magazine in July to explore rumors of an affair. Rendell and Snow denied the rumor in the story, which ran with a portrait of a grinning Rendell seated as Snow stood smiling behind him, resting her arms on his shoulders. As Rendell's second term as governor was winding down, he and Snow were often spotted around Harrisburg having dinner, attending her son's soccer games, and enjoying the Susquehanna River on her pontoon. That's a boat. Get it? Did that work? Yeah.